Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than two minutes. Simple, fast, and fun. Today we're talking about BPC-157, what it's for, and its potential benefits. All this and more in less than two minutes. So what is BPC-157? BPC-157, or Body Protection Compound 157, is a lab-made peptide that's a partial copy of human BPC found in stomach acid or your stomach juice. BPC works by speeding up the rate of the formation of new blood vessels, also known as angiogenesis, to help wounds heal. It's often prescribed to help repair damage that's caused by inflammation and help improve your joint, muscle, ligament, tendon, and your bone health. So what are its actual benefits? BPC-157 is useful to those looking to help with tendon and ligament healing by increasing the growth of fibroblasts. Fibroblasts are a type of cell found in connective tissues like bone and cartilage that are involved in making collagen to provide strength to the site of a wound. It can also help heal stomach ulcers that are caused by NSAIDs, also known as non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, which are medications like ibuprofen and naproxen. It can also help repair damaged intestinal tissues, which is caused by inflammatory bowel disease. So how do you use BPC-157? For general use, BPC-157 can be taken either orally or injected under the skin as a subcutaneous injection once daily. If injury specific, your dose can be split into twice daily injections under the skin, specifically around or into your injury site. Possible side effects include redness, itching, or swelling at the injection site. You should always tell your healthcare provider about any side effects you think you are experiencing. You can find out more information about BPC-157 and other peptides at peptides.com. That's peptides without the D, where we're tying all the peptide information for you together in one place. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our peptide community. And if you love what you've heard today, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.